So today we're going to be looking at a viewer's The Three Mountains. They're having problems completing it from here. It's kind of in this transitionary period where you need to submit yourself as the number one great power. They have a very tough France, you know, pretty big Ottoman. So they have kind of these great powers that are slowing them down. So I'm going to go through and looking at doing a quick review of what their, what their situation is and what I like, what I don't like, things like that. And then we're going to go and try to give them a kind of pass forward. So first we're going to take a look, just kind of take a look at the country. The first thing that I noticed and I wanted to scream at them, this is terrible. Max absolutism is 70. So what are these privileges that you need to get rid of? It's 1670. We need to get rid of everything. It all has to go. That's a strike. You're missing like 10 admin efficiency here. It's like he doesn't watch my videos, man. How are his reforms? How much do I have to scream at him for this? Okay, his reforms are okay. I don't have to scream that loudly. What the hell is this? I have to scream now. What are we doing? You're actually struggling on absolutism and you didn't take Machiavellian's reign? Heresy. And I'm not talking about the heresy from the social contract. I'm talking about like, why would you do this? The two merchants not placed? What is happening? Surely they were just transitioning, right? We just we, we didn't just have two merchants that weren't used. Surely we, we didn't just not use merchants the whole game. We must have not done Crown and Country. No, we definitely didn't do Crown and Country. I will say I definitely do not love the social contract choice here. Especially when we were under our Advent efficiency cap. And are we in half states now or what's the deal? Oh no. This is a massive mistake. We are six Advent tech levels behind. Six? Six? What? Like, I've been unbalanced before. Well, this is the next tier of unbalanced. But we have to not... What are we doing? Okay, this is... Uh, okay. We've got some We've got some uh, work to do, my friend. Something's wrong here. You need to understand the why this is bad, okay? And I'm sorry if I'm flaming you, but that's just... I'm not a very good sugarcoat type of guy. I'll, I'll just tell you guys straightforward. I need you to arbitrarily add a couple layers of sugarcoat whenever I'm talking about this. Okay. This is unacceptable because this should have been taken 60 years ago. And it's 10 admin efficiency we've been missing for 60 years. That's terrible. Not to mention we should have another idea group done. Maybe looking at our, our six idea groups or starting our six idea group at this point. Whatever this shit is, it's not, it's not cute, okay? What are we doing with our admin points? What happened to our admin points? Where did they go? How could they be all be gone? We don't even have that much land. What what happened? I don't even know how it would be possible to be this. I've never... How? This is blowing my mind, guys. I don't know how it would be physically possible to be so far behind on a tech group. And that tech group being admin. The, like, what, actually an important tech group. Like, what happened? Do we not understand the value of tech 17? Like, it's a huge spike. I do want to point out this person is doing well. And he's probably better than a majority of EU4 players, still. But I'm someone who looks at things from a different perspective. Don't be like, yeah, this guy is terrible or anything like that. Obviously, he's in a really good position to finish this. He just needs to make a lot... Of, he needs to make some adjustments. But this is obviously... We need to be taking Tech 17 ahead of time. Like, this is a power spike. This is huge. Because, for one, we can't even build universities. That means that we can't... We, we didn't Golden Age yet? What the hell? We haven't Golden Aged by 1670, which is weird. I guess we still own five universities because we were able to, to take it through Conquest, but obviously you need to be able to build these at the beginning of the age. Like we only, what, we we only have two of these age abilities. We don't even have the hard street cost. Like we realized that we need to take our admin efficiency because we're literally paying more to core stuff for the last 50, 60 years because we didn't take this. So literally it makes, like it, it had a snowball effect. Like you didn't take this, and then you then you you were just paying more for everything for like who god knows how long. I don't know. Your innovativeness also sucks, but that's okay. We obviously didn't take innovative ideas. Like for you, man, I think innovative would have been a good choice for you at the start. It didn't look so bad on the surface, but when I started digging, I'm like, oh no, what are we doing? So we did take um Alhambra. I, I found it kind of weird that we we have multiforts upgrade to rank three, but we haven't upgraded Alhambra. I think Alhambra is actually better if you're stacking admin efficiency like this is run is designed to do. But apparently you don't care about admin efficiency because you're tech 16 in 1671. So it's not surprising that we wouldn't give, you know, wouldn't really care about that, I suppose. Let's take a look at our diplomatic. So we're we're in half states on everything over here. Our GovCap's doing fine. Why are we half stated everywhere? Where did the admin points go? We're not even full stated. What do you mean? 
We probably shouldn't be in full half states unless we really had to be. We're like, I don't know what this is about. I literally have no idea how you could possibly have used all your admin points on. I don't even know what. Did you just like abandon admin over and over like for fun? You're like, I'm going to abandon admin and then do it again. Like for a challenge. Maybe that's what it was. It's got to be something. There's got to be, there's got to be a reason this happened. We're institution behind. Why are we not embracing this institution? How much more did we, did we pay 50% more for Tech 22? What is this? There's literally Africans that have this institution. Con the Congo have this institution. What are we doing? What do you mean we haven't embraced the institution? We took loans to upgrade a great project and we didn't upgrade the institution? I don't know what that is, but it's, I, I don't like it. Uh, yeah, that's not, it's not the way. Okay. We have 100 professionalism. That's cool. I, I'm a fan. Uh, your Navy should probably be a little bit better, but I'm not the best with Navy, so I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to blame you there. Why, why aren't we a defender of the faith, though? I guess we're going to go Protestant anyways, but like, why did we, guys, we have level one advisors in 1670. Why? Where did the points go? What happened to our mana? Are we devving? Like, how much have we devved? It, it's, there has to be some sort of excuse. There has to be something we did. I don't know where we put our points. I just can't fathom what we did with our points. So are we diplobanking? Where, like, where are they? When you watch a video and I say that you should play in the half state meta, I don't mean like do that immediately. I mean do it when you need to do it, not not like oh let's just half state our land whenever because because the playmaker does it. No 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 no. It's the timing that matters, guys. If we're gonna look at my game in 1670 from my th three mountains and make a little comparison, okay? So I'm gonna try to write down a couple things that I'm gonna try to look to compare because these are important things to consider. So our tech is 16. 1922. What I find impressive is that we, despite despite our failings, we're actually able to we're able to take a ton of land in Europe. Like land wise, we are on point, but we have just so many situations that are rough. Now, so I just want to make a comparison here because these are important things. I want to look at our advisors. We're gonna we're gonna compare everything across the board to where I was in my rung. I'll just pull up a state that's from the, around the same time. So we're gonna look at our advisors. We were we are five one two. Our, our idea groups are admin, religious, espionage, and offensive. So our admin efficiency is 24%. Okay, GovCap is 602 of 960. We're at 6 and 71. So obviously we are making 465 ducats in income. It's massive how much more, more money that I make than him. Like it is massive. He was 16, 19, 22. I'm 22, 21, 21. We can't be a tech 16, that's the worst. I also have 100 innovativeness versus the nine, the nine that he has. I'm obviously rocking level five advisors across the board. And yeah, let's see, my average autonomy is 3%. As you can see, my stuff is like, again, I don't, I, I don't know what we did, but like, I'm fully stated everywhere, as you can see. Like, we need to not be half stating things this early. But, but how does it make sense that I full stated everything and I'm level tech, I'm tech 22, and he's half state everything, and he's tech 16. Like, what happened? Also, my uh, admin efficiency is 45 compared to his 26, or what was it? 20 was it 23? And honestly, I'm not saying that you need to full state everything, but also look at our gov cap. Why is our gov cap so much better? What how like what is going on? Our max was 960. My max is 1860. It's because our tech is so effed, huh? Yes, what it is. It's our admin tech. We're level 16 admin tech. Right, right, yeah, that, that's not like a, again, that's not a minor thing, that's not a, that's not a minor detail. Uh, our situation is drastically different. We have a massive army, if we compare. Our army is absolutely massive. Our tech is way better, our economy is way better. Again, I'm not here to flame you on, on things that you did wrong, but the funny thing is, our development is almost the same. In fact, I think he might actually have more development than me. He's actually expanded more than me. This is meant to be constructive, not just me flaming, by the way. We're going to get to the point where we're going to actually help you fix your run. When I look at your save on the surface, it looks like you're doing really well. You actually have more development than me. Okay, so let's look at our idea groups because that, that does matter, right? So we have six idea groups unlocked at this point. You have four um, and our ideas are different, right? You can see I don't even have a military idea. You, you chose to take offensive for no particular reason. Like I don't recommend taking offensive until later. You don't need it for any reason. I was paid to take innovative. But I actually liked it for this run. I would actually recommend it. It would probably help you with your tech problem. Because you're a nation that really is far behind all the time. But this is a rare case where I think of, like innovative was actually a good choice. However, admin you took, which is fine. 
I, I think offensive has a place. It's just too soon. I think I take it a tech 26, if I recall correctly. So you can see like what's going on a little bit here. Um, similarly, I think our uh, professionalism maxed. You also have to remember, I, I have 100 innovativeness, so things are cheaper. I make more money, so it's it's like everything is kind of snowballed. Like I make more money, so I can have better advisors, so I have better tech, so I have better ideas, right? It's all kind of a snowball effect. Uh, as you can see, I have my ab inefficient or my absolutism at max. I've had it at max for a long time, right? And our economy is just it's just drastically different. You can see my average autonomy is three percent. Also, what's funny is that I have every objective done, and you have two because you were so far behind in building your universities. I think I try to mention that in my videos, but yeah, it, it, you, you can see the difference here, right? And our golden age are obviously is, is well beyond us. We've, we golden aged way earlier. Remember how much, how important it is to golden age early, because the earlier you golden age, the earlier you start snowballing. Really, I do recommend that we golden age much sooner, because think about like, you're trying to snowball in a game and the golden age helps you snowball. So the later that we golden age, like it's like the slower we're going to snowball. We've talked enough about what's wrong. Let's fix it. Honestly, it's impressive to me that we made it this far without having any economy. So yeah, our average autonomy is 38% versus 3%. So obviously there's a massive difference there. The two things that I think are the worst part is not taking tech 17 and not having our, our absolutism maxed for literally 50 plus years. But I think the first bit of business is that we need to enact the golden age. Yeah, we're, we're already half stated anyways. So let's just arbitrarily like, you know, unstate some random stuff to make it into trade companies to get the golden age popped that's going to be our first bit of business i'm not going to keep these so i'm trying to do it till the least land as possible because it does it does give you a penalty so we got three trade companies going and we're going to take the golden age literally straight away the golden age are important to scale so we're going to take the golden age straight away are we going for one faith or what, what what's the thought process here we're losing two a month for shit that doesn't matter why don't don't do this so we have a thing that basically gives no penalties for them being heretics, but then we, at the same time, we're picking policies that are robbing us of our admin points while we're at, while we're at admin 16, six levels behind time. Okay, that, that's enough blaming, guys. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. This guy is trolling, for sure. Also, religious ideas and social contract? No. Let's not do that. First, we're in a war that we have to take care of. We've got some very weird sack of sex of guys here that I don't really quite understand. It is what it is. Let me just fix these. They're they're weird. We have horses in the year 1671. Confusion. Oh, okay. We're overextended at the moment, but we don't have to be. We just have to take our tech up. I see. Okay, so yeah, now now our admin efficiency is up that, and we have way more GovCap. Did you know that the Congo embraced the institution before you did? Like, imagine. Fulu embracing the institution before you. I have to laugh at you at least a little bit for this, but we're going to go ahead and grab the institution here. We got to get our admin, like, under control. Like, I don't know... It's it's really it's really rough out there, but one thing at a time. We gotta get this war out of the way. Is this a war we declared? Oh, this is a war we declared. Okay, this is actually our war. Like we're intentionally here. My guess is that we're basically relying on our allies to war for us because we don't even have a good like our army is kind of questionable. I guess we're just like are we are we just getting carried by France for the last fifty years or what's the deal? Because our armies are so bad, there's no way we actually could have done much, right? I imagine we were just getting carried by France. Let's abandon espionage in favor of, I think, quantity. Because we need to get, like, the way I like to play is stacking the land attrition mods, and we need to, we really we really should have humanists already too, but that's beside the point. We don't really have admin points to do humanist. And you're already struggling a lot with manpower, so I think that, like, doing this now does make a lot of sense. What is this? We left war taxes on. For how long? I don't blame you for this. I do it too, unless it's intentional that you have war taxes on really bad to leave it on till 1672 that's like record breaking also what are we doing with our papal points we have manpower money available we have what's our uh, let's, what's our all right we didn't get rid of the privileges yet in this save okay so we got to get rid of these privileges immediately if we can we got to get rid of this one like soon too i don't really know why we did this war what's this war really about why are we here I don't know what this war is about, but I'm just going to go ahead and end this war. I, I, I don't actually want the land because I literally can't afford things. Like, I, I don't have the admin points to core things, and I don't want it for any reason. So, let's just get out of this war. We're, we're of some money. It's also a snowballing effect that our gov reforms are worse because we have less autonomy, or we have higher autonomy, rather. Whatever the case may be. Wait, we have the social contract, but we, like, converted everybody. I am so confused.
One advantage of being in, in the half state meta is that you can cheese your absolutism to max. It would make a lot of sense to me just to do that. So what we're going to do is cheese our absolutism to max because that's that's definitely on our agenda. So what we're going to do is just go through and um, go ahead and raise autonomy in everywhere. Or just like enough of Europe. We'll call that good enough. And then we're just going to go ahead and unstate everything here. Let's just go ahead and unstate all our land. So now we just need to restate. You have to wait the month thick, I think. So now we're just going to lower all this to get our absolutism to max. So you can see we our, our absolutism is at 105 now, which is much better. What is happening with our capital? Why is our capital at 59 dev? Why is it here and not a gold province? Any reason we didn't put our capital in the gold province? Okay, let's actually build up some armies though too, because our armies are pathetic. War might not be very good for us at the moment because we need to fix our tech so badly. I think I want to go attack Tunis because they're, they're allied to the Ottomans and I want France to break an alliance with the Ottomans. Did we upgrade this great project by the chance? By the chance? No, we didn't. All right, upgrading this great project to at least rank one early is actually a pretty solid choice, I think, because it gives you 10% manpower recovery speed for literally a thousand ducats. It's a pretty good trade, if you ask me. I hate to be that guy to tell you that you should have some forts, but like, what is going on with zero forts in Germany? Like, I'm a fan of that until the 1600s. And then I'm like, you should probably have a few forts in the 1600s. Mostly I don't play that late, so it doesn't impact me, but I probably would recommend at least a few forts when you have the economy to support it. And we definitely have the economy to support it. In fact, let's, let's make sure we're getting our advisors in better spots. Okay, we need to be at least having level 3 advisors. Like, that's not ideal. At the very minimum, probably you should have all level 5 advisors right now, but at least level 3s across the board from here on out. And if you could time travel, I would do that much sooner than now. So I'm just going to have the Ottomans give war reps and money. It's obviously, we allied to Aragon, which we are no longer doing that. I should have broken this alliance earlier, but I didn't get there in time, so that's, that's fine. I would have liked if we would have not let Venice get so strong and but maybe maybe Venice was already this strong and we, and we uh, nothing we could do I guess but what we could do is stop being his friend and make Venice and France fight each other that would be the way so let's dissolve that alliance we have way too many alliances for no reason Russia's okay I guess so let's go ahead and form into Saxony luckily we already changed our culture here I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and just form Saxony um I guess we'll hit yes please it doesn't really matter we're gonna form uh, Prussia anyways so well, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just grab, you know, there's some free some free points in here. Uh, you know, you might as well. They give you a nice CCR here for 20 years. Sure thing. So let's go ahead and change religions. Protestant. Let's get Defender of the Faith. Start converting. And let's form Prussia. Yes, please. And we can start doing this. This is the balance of power is super nice that so we got that. I believe we're not able to do our mission tree here because we're missing some stuff. Extra military points is huge there. Army reform. Nice. And we already have all this stuff done, which is super nice. Getting tons of army tradition, so that is good. Definitely going to grab that. Okay, so we're tech 22. We've actually managed to fix our admin tech within like five years. So that's good. We've gone up five tech levels since since we started. What did we get here? We got a 50% off advisor. That's pretty nice. Yeah, let's grab that guy. Upgrade him to five. So we got a free slot here. We're probably going to pick humanist. Because in any World Conquest, you kind of, Humanist is a really good choice at some point. And our, our uh, tech's actually pretty caught up. It is important. We probably need to focus. I'm going to focus Diplo now because we actually need to get to Tech 23 as fast as possible. Because um, Imperialism is just around the corner. I think there's a policy. like uh, There's like an idea you can get for this that's helpful. Yeah, this one here. Junker Supremacy. So skipping to 1695, we haven't really done much. We just wanted to fix our techs and our ideas. So we got 23, 23, 24. And then we got Diplo, Humanist, Quantity added, and we've removed Espionage. We've got our militarization up a good bit here, and we've obviously formed Prussia. We're not able to complete this mission yet, though, or rather this mission, because France owns those provinces, so there's something we have to think about. And we also need to form Sardinia, so we're going to have to get these four provinces here. And I'll go ahead and just set these as interest. Set like these as interest, and these as interest, just in case. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to war. I want to fight Aragon here. But he, Aragon's allied to France and Venice, so I don't really want to do that. And Cell just fight Aragon's ally and call in France. And let's see, I need to fight Genoa, so we might as well declare on Genoa. We will be at war with Austria, though. France is definitely a strong nation. He's a spooky guy, but we're going to have to deal with him at some point. So declare war in Venice, call in France. All right, we need to upgrade this great project still in Berlin. So that's looking good. We just have to somehow get a war with this guy. 
What's the easy way to do this? Maybe I attack Ragusa? I think that would probably be fine. Attack Ragusa, call in, it'll call in the Papal States and Hungary, so. We have 23 universities, but we need 25 so we can double Golden Age. So I'm gonna build two more universities. Because there's this mission here, what is it, develop Quinsbury? We, well, we'd have to do this mission. Could be worth a double Golden Age though, but we'd have to fight the Commonwealth, who's allied to France and Sweden. He, he has a lot of allies actually. Yeah, if we can take one province from Poland, then we could get the Golden Age. Could be worth it, for, certainly. So I'm gonna grab the province I need from Aragon for Sardinia, Piedmont, and then just get war reps. I don't know what our percentage of participation was in the war, so I don't know if money's worth it, but we'll just, you know, maybe we'll, we'll fill Francis coffers if not. We got 100 ducats, I mean, I mean, yeah, it wasn't great. Okay, Austria probably could just give me war reps and money, and then I can annex Genoa. Tech 24 here for admin. You can see we're really looking pretty strong on tech again. Oh, I forgot I need to upgrade my advisors again. They died a bit ago. Take a loan. I want to make sure we always have level 5 advisors. I'll also have a piece of the Papal States and just take um, these three provinces here. And this is all for Sardinia Piedmont. I'm going to have Aragon and Nuala Venice at any rate. We'll take the one province from Venice, War Ups, Trade Power. So now we got all the provinces we need in that little region. Of course, we're going to need to probably dev these up a bit more, but no way, there you have five buildings. Ooh, the dev's looking really good already here. We'll need a little more dev here, but it's the rest, yeah, the rest of it's kind of looking solid. So yeah, all, all of our attacks are looking really solid now. And this war we don't care about, so I'm just going to get War of Trade Power money. And then these other wars aren't really important to us either. I can just end this war. I should improve with France just in case, so don't want to lose that alliance yet. I'll just go ahead and wipe peace out this dude as well. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and declare this war. Imperialism in Stockholm. I'm going to call in France and Russia. The goal of this war is just to take one province from the Commonwealth. So yeah, we're just declaring this massive war for one province. You always just got to find the right wars to get the land you want. And you'll find them. France is massive though. It's he's definitely scary. I we need to build some forts to deal with him. Like I should fort up this entire region, I think. With these level eight forts. And then even take like a loan for it. Like we just need to really be prepared to fight France. Because he's kind of a monster. And we have a really young ruler that's about to be you know coming of age, so double golden age, you know, could be really, really nice. We already swapped over the Machiavellian's reign from the social contract, so that's fine. Yeah, let's just swap the this to expand temple rights. I mean, I don't even know how many temples we built in this game, so maybe it's not good. I mean, who knows? We can keep boosting our professionalism as, you know, militarization. Our militarization goes down quite a bit a month, but it's because we don't own a ton of provinces. Don't, yeah, again, it's not, as soon as I can get what I want in this war, I can leave it. I don't really have that much interest in being here. If I can get the one province, we're happy. Okay. Yeah, this war is literally about getting one province, but we can get it, so. Cool. Good deal. Why isn't the mission complete? Talk to me. No, it's not cored. That's fine. So I gotta core that up, it's gonna take a minute. I need to recruit more guys, so I'll probably just make the classic template of 60-40. The late game template, 100, 100 guys. And one thing to note is that this great project over here is awesome for recruitment time. Is it over here? Yeah, you can see even rank 1 gives you 10% recruitment time, but rank 3 gives negative 50% recruitment time, which is nuts when you want to recruit like an extra army or something. They show up in like 20 days, but we'll build another sec of 100 there. We're like so good on tech now that it doesn't matter. We're like, you know, we got all our ideas done. We're super far ahead of time. But so things are looking really good there. We just, we're like, we have so many points we don't even know what to do with them. Okay, we gotta split up our guys here, of course. Split them up so we're not getting attrition. Ooh, 10 discipline. We're gonna love that for fighting against for France. Do need to encourage dev over here and get this to 30 dev. I'm just gonna dev it randomly. Make it even. We can try to get our innovativeness going. Yeah, our innovativeness is not impressive, but... It is what it is. It's not the biggest deal. And a little bit of debt, too. It's it's what it is. How much debt are we in? Just five loans. We should probably take the burger loans. I think we're good on... Yeah, we're, we're good on absolutism. So let's take the burger loans. And we can fix our interest. There we go. We've got a bunch of forts now that are popping up. Ready to fight France, of course. Who is going to be a bit of a challenge to fight. He's very forted up as well. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a war that's not super easy. He's only to the 13 colonies. That sounds super annoying. Why is the 13 colonies independent? Is my first question. So we got Reclaim New Merc, Armorine Succession, and we got the Prussian Expansion one. And then I'll double check here in front of universities, but I think I have, I have 28 universities. Okay, so I can go ahead and do this. Develops Kornsberg, which will give me like basically an extra Golden Age. France is actually in the Independence War. What the hell, man? Like, what, what's our armies looking like now? Yeah, we have 139% discipline, which is just wild. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> No one even has close to that. 
And our morale is the best of the game, too. Our armies look really good, honestly. The double golden age is always a good thing. Why do we have this? Oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to strength and noble privileges. The important part is that we have max item deficiency when we hit tech 27. That's the main goal. And then from there, you can world conquest easily. So that's kind of, again, the, the thought process that we have. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask France to break alliance with the Commonwealth. We won't do it. Okay, I need to butter him up a bit. You gotta insult his rival or something. Insult the Ottomans. Maybe he'll like that. Now that I've insulted the Ottomans, can we, uh, you know, talk about that? Those dirty Commonwealthers. So I'm gonna have France break with the Commonwealth. I'll just take a loan for the institution. Get it over with. There's a mission I want. It does the enlightened absolutism. Nice. Get more max ab absolutism. I'm gonna declare war with Aragon just because France is allied to him and that way that alliance will break. Like, I don't want anyone to be friends with France, but it's kind of like a war I don't care about. I, you know, I guess. I'll just declare on the 13 colonies as well. And then I'm going to just dissolve my alliance now with France. Yeah, you can see he has no allies now. So we've done the best we could to, to deal with that. And, and we have five years, you know, of truce anyways. So we might as well deal with these wars that we didn't want to declare, but we had to. <laughs> okay, the Age of Revolutions is here. We got a bunch of objectives done already. That means we're going to be able to get this pretty soon. Fire damage received, negative 20%. It's going to be very helpful, probably. Okay, so I'm going to have Aragon just a duel with France. Now we have to deal with this another annoying war that we don't care about. Yeah, just white piece. I don't care. We need to get another sack of guys. Let's grab 100 more guys. I forget to do this sometimes, but what other buffs? We probably want some, like... We need, like, really good, like, morale and everything for this war. We're going to have to really dig deep. This war is not going to be easy. So I'm going to rival France. But our truce just expired, so we could do this whenever. But yeah, we're going to be at war with Malacca, but that's not real. But man, he has so many guys. He's got a scary amount of guys. Let's go ahead and declare war on France. Make the war goal imperialism. Going to go, be going after Paris. I'm using Sacks of 100 here. If he wants to go and siege out my stuff, that's cool. He can go do that. My goal is to make it to Paris as soon as possible. And But he has so many forts. You can see he's really got a large army down here and up there. And then we're capped on points, but I don't really care. It's not exactly like that's the point of this run, you know? Alright, I got that siege done. He's uh, attacking right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to pull off and attack him. I don't know that we really need this fort anyways, so I'm going to pull off here and I'm going to go for this guy. Hopefully he doesn't get that siege at 35%. I'm kind of leaving these guys isolated though. He didn't get the siege. Okay, perfect. They're, uh, they're going for this though. I'm just going to force march out and head over here. So we're going to just fight him up here then. Of course, we're going to reinforce. So that's a good win right there. Now we're going to head down. Let's turn the force march off. We're going to head down to our fort down here. And we should probably take a look at the manpower difference here. Because what are we, what are we looking at? Yeah, he probably has a ton of manpower. Yeah, he's got 354k. This could be a stack wipe here. No, he got out, didn't he? No, wait. It was a stack wipe. Love to see it. Now we need to get back to trying to get to... His capital. I think the only thing sending him in our way might be this fort, maybe. I don't love assaulting level 8 forts, but in this case, if we can get to Paris, it's worth it. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, abandon those troops. Roger assault Paris. Let's make sure we got this to max. Make, make no mistake, this is a difficult war. Ooh, I like this. We're gonna grab this move speed buff here. It's worth it, I think. Extra move speed is never bad. Ooh, un unlucky, man. Oh, he lived, it's, but it's fine. They're gonna go for Paris, so I can't let him have it. You can't have Paris, it's mine. Where's the best general? Give me the god. No, the god. I mean, I'll take that. But this is like a fully, fully built stack, so I'm gonna send them in first. Wow, the Siege of Paris is already over. Oh, that's right, loser. I just, I'm just happy I, you know. I'm not even waiting the month tick, I don't care. Yeah, I could've had, could that, could that have sieged normally? Yeah. We, re we can refill garrison, right? Like, I never do use this button, but there's there's a way, yeah. Let's refill garrison. We gotta get up here. Can't really get down there. Best thing we can do is just hold Paris. They're going back to Paris, though. I'm going back to Paris. Basically just fighting over Paris. Yeah, he can't have it, though. I refuse. But my manpower, like, I need to replenish my guys a bit better. I want to go up here to stop that siege, but... Yeah, it's just been a little bit rough. He's also managed to, to siege down a couple of our forts. It's kind of a hole in our defenses, which sucks. He's now walking around my nation. He he effed off that. He's gonna go for Paris again. 
Yeah, he's effing off here too, so I just gotta go back to Paris. That's where he's going. Give it up, dude. Paris is literally mine. Really? See you, Paris. 42 days. Get back into Paris. An immediate barrage of sold. Must suck for the people living in Paris, man. They just literally, you know, every other day it's just dead back and forth who owns it. Another revolution just spawned in France. If this was my save, I might just alt it for the revolution until it wasn't in Europe. It's time to die, my friends. Would that be a stack fight, please? Yes! Let's go! That's a lot of cannons you just lost, my guy. Rough. This is just a run back for Paris Simulator. And yet, we'll, we're back. We're back in Paris again. He doesn't realize it, but I'm not just gonna let him have it back. I will keep coming back for Paris. Like, every time, man. Okay, I'm gonna get this fire damage received, negative 20%. I probably shouldn't be doing this, like, separately like this, but maybe it'll be okay. I'm trying to, like, use one army to track down the guys that are kind of bullying me over here. Yeah, that might be a problem. I mean, actually, it doesn't look... Maybe it's okay. Fight! Oh, yes, they're better. Let's go. The Battle of Paris. Round 17. I don't even think it's an exaggeration at this point. Like, the amount of times that I've... The, the, the amount of battles that we've have taken place in Paris during this war is ridiculous. <laughs> Literally just the Battle of Paris, like, over and over. We've won every single battle, though, so... Yeah, he's lost a hundred and... Like, he's actually lost a lot of guys to attrition. So have I. But you can see that we've killed nearly 600,000 of of his troops. Obviously, it's just a... It's, 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 it's an uphill battle when he's... You know, he's got so much more than us to start. And we lost another siege over there. Yeah, it's just a little bit brutal. If his war exhaustion ever goes down, we'll be in a better shape. But right now, his war exhaustion is actually good. If this war keeps going on, we're going to have to slack in. The land down here is kind of unfortunate. I didn't delete the forts beforehand as well. So it's just too far for me to get to. What we got going for us is the um, the war goal. France is almost out of manpower. So that's that's a win for us. We're to the point where we really would probably just need to slack in because it's, you know. This war is just so many French people. You know, there's so many French. They're everywhere. They're quite literally everywhere. And of course, they're gonna like the second that they leave Paris, they're all about going going to Paris. They're not even gonna reinforce that. They're just like, yeah, okay, that's the last cause. They're just in shambles over here. What are they doing? They got like so many one mans running around. Again, this is for two provinces as well. This war, unfortunately, it's really uh, not the, the the most fun scenario. But you know, it is what it is. So we can end the war now. Definitely a, a painful war, but I don't really need to drag it out. We can come back when we have high admin efficiency. So, of course, this is all for this Rhineland Conquest here, and then we have the German Confederation. So we can go ahead and move our uh, move on to the next part of our strategy. And that's going to be, we got to accept Piedmontanese culture, so we're going to have to unstate everything and form Sardinia Piedmont. So we can go ahead and do that. Let's promote Piedmontanese, culture shift, form Sardinia Piedmont. Go ahead and hit yes, please. Now our capital is going to be moving. Let's we'll see, we got this mission done and this mission done. And yeah, we did do it correctly. We got the powerhouse of the north. Okay, culture shift to Saxon. And then we'll, of course, form German nation. Hit yes, please. So now, I'll load back in. Let's go ahead and restate everything. Well, actually, before we do that, let's um, move our capital. Just in case. Because we're, we're, our capital's moved to um, over here. We need it back in the new world. And it's going to be easiest to move our capital back here first. So let's just state up this province. And we're going to move our capital back to Okinawa. And that will allow us to move our capital back to Mexico. So I'll move my capital back to Mexico. I can't. It's too much. Let's try uh, something with a little bit more dev. We can just move it back to where the old capital was. That's fine. Move it here. It's much cheaper. Okay. All is good to me. Let's let's go ahead and just restate up everything. And let's see if we can, what do we need to do here. Capital has a town hall or courthouse. Okay. So I got control of the junkers. And then we got... Go ahead and grab Kaiserreich here which I'm sure I butchered. We are now in the perfect spot for your world conquest. Let's just make a little recap here where we are. And, and again, my goal for you or anyone trying to, to attempt this is to get your admin efficiency to 90. By the time you hit tech 27, you can see that we're on pace to do that. All we have to do is hit tech 27 and we would, of course, be at 90% admin efficiency. And that is kind of the goal. So we could even go slower here. We don't, again, we... we and, you know, just to like, take a look at our ideas, you know, we've got all our ideas filled out. We're way ahead on tech. We're making pretty good money. We've really been able to put ourselves in a good spot for the World Conquest. I hope the uh, the user who submitted this game save learned something. 
and that they were, they were able to get their three mountains. Hopefully this information was useful to you and not, not me just flaming you for a long time, but I had to flame you a little bit for some things. I hope it's understandable. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.